what's going on guys so i want to do a video a little bit different and i know i've done stuff like this in the past where it's just me talking to you guys telling you guys stories um, answering questions that kind of stuff but the reason i wanted to do this video is because i get asked the same question a lot when people find out a little bit about me um, for those of you who don't know i'm an eight-year marine veteran i went to combat four times i went to iraq twice afghanistan twice and I know a lot of you who watch my channel, have been with my channel, already know that. But I'm putting this out there for the people who don't know me. So, when people find out that I'm a Marine or that I was in the Marine Corps, I always get asked, have you ever been shot at? Or, have you ever shot somebody? Those are the two most common questions that I get. Well, now, actively, I am a police officer. You can imagine that the questions that I get asked are, have you ever been shot at? And have you ever shot someone? Well... I'm going to answer one of those questions for you guys today, and I want to explain to you guys, for those of you who don't know, that's probably one of the rudest things that you can ask a veteran or a police officer. Here's the reason. Like I said, I've been in combat situations. I've been around a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things. I've done a lot of things. Some of that stuff was done because I had to do it. There was no other option. I didn't have a choice. That was my job, I did what needed to be done. So, on that part of it, a lot of people don't like reliving those situations. Um, a lot of people that have family members or friends who were in the military, especially, you know, you look back to your, especially your World War I, World War II, your Vietnam era days, of course there's a lot more Vietnam veterans around um, than there are your World War I and II veterans, but when those guys came back, they didn't talk about a lot of things. And I'm a big proponent of you should talk about it, but you should talk about it to the right people. I'm not saying for people to go out there and talk about it, to glorify it, or to just put it out there to anyone. Um, and, and you can do whatever you want, but for me, when I talk about it, I talk about it to people who went through what I went through, and more than likely, they were there when I was there. So that's when I talk about stuff like that. But that's kind of a rude thing to ask because you're making that person and me in this instance relive that situation anytime that we get asked that whether or not I actually give you the answer you just planted a seed and put that idea in my head and now I'm thinking about when this happened or when that happened and it's kind of one of those things that I'm not a huge fan of like I said I do get asked that a lot when people meet me when people talk to me most of my friends already either know or they know not to ask me you know it's, it's not something that I necessarily talk about but I wanted to make this video because I thought it was a little bit ironic. Now, I've been a police officer for five years now. Like I said, I was a Marine for eight years. And then I had a little bit of a, a crazy childhood, you know, crazy lifestyle before I went to the Marine Corps. So when people ask me, have you ever been shot at? That's what we're going to be talking about. Funny enough, and I say funny enough in, in an ironic way, being a police officer, this is the only job, the only thing that I've done that I have not been shot at yet. I don't want it to happen. I hope it never does, but it hasn't happened. I got shot at as a kid, and that's what I'm going to kind of touch on. And then I got shot at while I was in the Marine Corps. Have not been hit yet. Luckily, I've been a very lucky individual, been a very blessed person because of all these things. But being a police officer, it hasn't happened yet. And I hope it stays that way. I hope I go my entire career. That never being an issue, I hope to never get shot at again. Just how I feel. But... I wanted to answer that question because, like I said, I do get asked that a lot. So, I wanted to talk about the first time I got shot at. Um, I remember I was I was like 12 or 13 years old and I had a neighbor that lived across the street. And uh, he would make bikes or put bikes together off of all these parts that he had. And I had a bike at the time, so he was like, hey man, let's go on a bike ride. So, long story short, we go on this bike ride. We end up going out to this little like pond area. And as we're rolling up, there's a bunch of cars and a bunch of guys kind of just standing out by the water. I didn't realize at the time, I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw people out there like, okay, maybe they're out enjoying their, their themselves as well. Uh, there was one guy in the middle of all of these guys. So I don't know who they were. I don't know if it was a gang thing, if it was just a revenge thing. Don't know, don't really care. There's nothing I can do about it now. That's why I'm saying I don't care. But... There was a bunch of guys kind of standing around. There was one guy as the focal point, and everybody turned and looked at us because there was no other cars around, no other people around. And me and this guy that we're riding bikes with, he was a little bit older than me. We're just riding our bikes, having a good time. We see 
th these people out there and everybody stops and just looks at us. Well, that kind of caught our attention. So we stopped riding our bikes and we ended up just staring, like looking, trying to see what was going on. And I remember they were yelling something at us, but we were so far away or we were far enough away that I really couldn't make out what they were saying. And I, I, I think the wind, if I'm not mistaken, was kind of blowing a, you know, towards them to where their voices weren't necessarily carrying over to us. So they were yelling, 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 and I'm like, what are they talking about? I remember looking at this guy, and I was looking at him, trying to figure out what are they what are they saying. As I was looking at him, I remember hearing a gunshot. Instantly, just turned, and it was just like a, a panic fight or flight mode. And obviously, I was 12, 13 years old. I didn't have a gun, so it's not like I could fight if I wanted to. So I'm like, we need to get out of here. Next thing I know, there's a guy... One out of, I'm a, I want to say there was like 15 or 20, one of the guys that was in that group just start shooting in our general direction. Now, I don't know that he was necessarily trying to hit us. He may have been. I really don't know. But he was shooting in our direction. We got on our bikes. And when I tell you I've never pedaled so fast in my life, when I got off my bike, I thought my legs were going to fall off because we were going so fast on this bike. And I just, we need to get home, you know. We got home. He ran to his house, I ran to my, my grandma's house, and my stepdad was there, and I remember saying, hey, there's some guys out there, they got guns, they were shooting at us. We jumped in the truck, and now it, it took some time for us to get from where we were to my grandma's house on bike, and then to the truck, and then driving back out there. So by the time we got out there, everybody was gone. Um, never found out who they were, never found out what was going on. Everyone had picked up and left. There was no signs of anybody ever being out there. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only time that I ever got shot at uh, before going in the military, but that was the one that always, always sticks out to me. And I went to the military. Like I said, I went to Iraq twice. I went to Afghanistan twice. I remember flying in, in a helicopter, you know, multiple times and seeing these like flashes and thinking like, man, that looks cool. Like it looked like a fireworks show in a sense from above. And it was like one of my first trips overseas and I'm looking down and the uh, crew chief looks over and he's like, yeah, we're getting shot at. That's, those are, those are gun, that's gunfire. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, we're high enough. They can't hit us. But that's what all those little blinking lights are. They're muzzle flashes. I was out of harm's way. So by no means am I saying like I was in the middle of it. I was getting shot at. There was bullets flying by. No, that's not the situation. But just thinking of like these people, I mean, I get that I was the enemy to them, but had no idea who we were, what we were doing or whatever. And we were just getting shot at. And I just remember this like surreal feeling of like, this is crazy. Like I'm actually here, you know, and I got out of the Marine Corps and every time I go somewhere, people are like, well, you're not in combat anymore. You're not in combat anymore. And they have this whole like stigma of, you don't need to feel this way. You don't need to feel that way. Well, considering what I do, I'm a little more on edge than some people are. Not to mention that as a kid, Hadn't done anything wrong, getting shot at, my anxiety level was a little bit higher than other people's. My, what is going on, my, you know, uh, it's a word I'm looking for, just my whole perception of everything, like, I'm, I'm more on edge than the normal person is, and that's why. So, for the people that ask, have I ever shot anyone, for one, don't worry about it. Two, have I ever been shot at, yes, I've been shot at, I've been shot at. More times than I can remember and more times that I want to remember. So that's the one that sticks out to me. The first time I ever got shot at, um, I've had guns pulled on me. I mean, it, these things happen to me, unfortunately. And like I said before, I've been lucky enough. I'm blessed. I'm still standing here, have not been injured as far as that type of uh, situation goes. And I'm still living life. So that's kind of a quick little q and I know you guys, a lot of you guys haven't asked that, but when I run into people, that's what they ask me. So maybe now I can just say, you know what? Don't talk to me. Go watch my video. It is what it is. So thank you guys for checking this out. I know this was a little bit random, but I just wanted to put out a little bit more content for you guys. I'm going to continue to do stuff similar to this, talk about different stories, different things that have gone on in my life. If there's anything that you guys would like to know, um, what has happened with me, kind of how I grew up, what I did in the military, anything that you want to know, Comment down below and I'll do my best to try to answer your questions, whether it's replying back in the comment section or making a video like this one to explain some of the things that I've been through. So again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.